Hey everyone, Will here from Flea Market Finds for March 9, 2014. Had a really good weekend uh, finding stuff. I have a ton of stuff to show you. Uh, should uh, do well on everything, I think. Uh, spend a lot of money, but uh, expect to make a lot of money. Um, let me show you what I got. First up, whole box of books. That was free. Lots of hardback books in there and uh, don't know. I'll take a look. Maybe there's a few I can make some money on. Uh, then take the rest down to the uh, Goodwill. Uh, we have a whole box of dollhouse furniture. Here's some uh, spiral staircase. A little bit of everything. $10 for, for all of it. Uh, another $10 box full of uh, soldiers and Vikings and uh, this and that marked. Yeah, some of them are marked made in West Germany. Uh, a little bit of the, uh, little bit of everything. I've done well with them in the past. Star Trek. I don't know if it's a game or a uh, uh, or a movie or what, but uh, five bucks I bought it. A uh, Heineken sign for a bar. Really well made. Lights up. Uh, that was 20. A uh, egg scale. Got it for uh, three bucks because it uh, needs to be bent back into shape. But uh, bend it back into shape should make some money on that. This is a uh, really big passenger train um, for a uh, uh, train set. O scale. Uh, $10 on that. It looks like it's never been used. Really nice uh, heavy duty uh, nautical brass bell. 20 bucks. Uh, a good price on that. Not sure what yet. Some kind of old brass pot uh, kind of looks Middle Eastern to me. Um, looks like it's been used a good bit too. Uh, that was uh, six on that. Candlestick holder, just one, but it's uh, Rosenthal, which is a, a very good name. Uh, perfect shape, no chips or cracks. Uh, this entire tray lot here, uh, it wasn't cheap, had to spend $160 uh, for this entire lot. But, I'm going to piece it out and uh, check it out. We have the uh, pinup girl uh, lighter and there's a cigarette case to go with it. There's another uh, pinup girl lighter. There's a uh, golf lighter still in the original box there's a uh, Zippo if I can open it with one hand um, can't get it just a whole bunch of lighters always do go with the lighters here's a vintage uh, Baltimore Colts made by Storm King a couple packs of uh, Royal Jordanian playing cards um, just a neat little radio here. Uh, that's a little that's a Buick car lighter. Lots of good stuff. Harley belt buckle. Um, lots of good stuff. Should bring some really good net money. Uh, the 49ers lighter should do well too. Who makes that? Uh, copyright 1963. Um, never been used. Uh, we'll have to see, but uh, price them out individually and uh, should do well with that. Um, turnabout cookie jar. You got the parrot on one side and uh, Donald Duck on the other. Made by American Bisque. Paid uh, 40 for that. And I'm thinking he'll bring around oh, 90 or so. 
90 a hundred uh, big game broadheads still in the original box archery stuff always does well um, especially stuff still in the original box and vintage uh, paid five dollars for that Waterford uh, letter opener that was part of that uh, box lot uh, over here we got I got the tank the uh, structo excavator or is that the grader and uh, a Snoopy uh, in a space suit. Uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, came to 30, 10, 10, and 10. I got them for, got all three pieces for 20. Uh, the Structo piece, really good shape. Not a whole lot of uh, wear on there. It is missing the, uh, the grade piece. Um, but somebody could uh, fix that up. And a uh, battery-operated tank. Uh, haven't looked inside the battery compartment, but uh, really good deal there. Uh, Old-time Cracker 10 for four bucks. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas backpack. That was uh, five bucks. Uh, these took a chance on these. Got. Uh, 58 Elvis necklaces, and these are all, um, got, it's all costume, but they must have come out back in uh, the 70s after Elvis died. So uh, 58 packs in here, and each one has uh, a couple uh, different necklaces in there, so it's a, it's a good bit of stuff. Um, I'm going to try selling these. Uh, on uh, on eBay not sure what I'll get but uh, I paid uh, $50 for a lot of them uh, not sure what they'll bring it individually maybe uh, sell them in groups um, but uh, still lots of Elvis fans out there lots of Elvis collectors I uh, bought this from a guy who thought it was a belt no, it is a belt, but it's for ammunition. Uh, six bucks uh, for a uh, German machine gun. Uh, half a box of uh, Western 25 caliber uh, ammunition uh, for two bucks. Nice old Western box. Be keeping that. Uh, check out these. Uh, always your pal, Gene Autry. And it's autographed to Sarah, Gene Autry. Uh, the postcard. It's got cats turning into kittens. And it's wind. Uh, take a look. Uh, Shirley Temple. To Mary with best wish wishes. Sincerely, Shirley Temple. Uh, Shirley just died uh, a few weeks ago um, so that was 20 for her and 15 for Gene Autry uh, Ravens training camp uh, pass four bucks whole lot of uh, GI Joe's uh, they were uh, 50 cents a piece Uh, Baltimore County uh, police tags. It's a pair of them. Uh, might have trouble selling these on eBay. Uh, gonna have to look into it. Uh, but $15 for the pair. Over here. Uh, these are sword handles. Uh, paid $4 a piece for them. Uh, the sword stuff always does well. Um, not sure what to go to, but. Uh, it's got to be somebody out there needing a sword handle. Thinking uh, about 25 a piece for those, somewhere around that. Humpty Dumpty figural uh, teapot. He was 10 bucks. A uh, some kind of lamp lantern. Uh, this was 20 bucks. Haven't even looked it up. It's a uh, Hockley lamp. Um, really well made. Got some nice weight to it. And uh, 
on the bottom warning only paraffin to be used it's kind of weird uh, still haven't looked it up a whole bunch of pins all in different languages and they, they're from Avis in any language we try harder and it tells you the uh, uh, let's see what the Yugoslav uh, translation would be yeah, I'm not even going to try to say that. But, uh, two bucks. Took a chance on it. Wallace Pencil Company, ten. Five bucks. Uh, little, uh, cheese knife set. Five dollars for the set. All made in Italy. Good, uh, good, uh, quality to it. If you're having your wine and cheese, you definitely don't want to make the mistake of having the wrong uh, knife to go with it. Uh... A couple little coins here. There are three bucks uh, for, for them. Uh, telephone pin. There's a uh, daisy coin. They gave these away with the uh, with the guns. Not worth a uh, whole lot, but uh, neat. Uh, in recognition of support for President Bush and the Republican Party, a uh, big golden uh, medal in the case. Uh, antique cake topper, seen better days, but, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, I've been doing pretty good with, uh, cake toppers. Old, uh, Baltimore Orioles, uh, mug from, uh, 1970. Got, uh, two of them. They were five bucks a piece. The, uh, uh, cake topper, that was, uh, three dollars. Another lighter. A little, uh. Uh, butane lighter there. That was five. Got a case knife with a broken blade, another case knife with a broken handle, and a little, uh, it's, not, it's a switchblade pen. Uh, that was five dollars for three knives. Banjo belt buckle. Uh, had to pay eight dollars for it, but really neat, nicely done. Uh, somebody who plays the banjo, uh, they're going to want this. And uh, I'm thinking that's a $25, $30 belt buckle right there. little pack of uh, Gibson and Fender uh, guitar picks. Nice uh, Tiffany bowl. And uh, marked uh, Tiffany and Company there. And also right there, uh, Tiffany and Company. I was 30 for that, but I love Tiffany's stuff. Uh, the quality can't be beat. Uh, you ever see a uh, steak charmer? Um, here's a horn uh, that they use. A little uh, flute, whatever. Uh, five bucks on that. thought that was really cool. And uh, we're going to end part one right here at the uh, steak charmer uh, flute. And we'll start part two up in just a second.